Hey, what is up, guys? This is Sora Web from TechGuard, and in this video, I will be talking about the darkness redefined ROM for Redmi 4 or the Redmi 4X. Now, Redmi 4 or the Redmi 4X are the same devices, and this ROM runs on 7.1.2, although it is still an unofficial build. So, yes, you might get update, you might not get update as it is an unofficial build, but there will be official build. And now, the issue, the main issue is that Although the ROM is stable, the ROM is good, the ROM is easy to use, full TE is not supported. Now for international users who, do, who don't actually rely on full TE, you can easily go for it. But for people, especially in India, who are obsessed with Geo, you might be get disappointed. Now the RAM management turned out to be good. The ROM is pre-rooted with Magix Manager, so which means you can easily do stuffs. I mean, you can easily use any other uh, rooted apps that you had used to do. And the darkness arena is actually the customization hub. Now, there are not lots of customization like the resurrection remix, but the customization they have implemented here are pretty good. Now you can easily customize the density of the display, which is a good thing, but uh, make sure you know all about it. Now there is the button settings and there is the hardware keys action. You can easily change them. You can easily read out them by your preference. And there is the you know on-screen app button feature that I really hate because of the 5-inch screen. I mean, there is no point of using on-screen app button on a 5-inch screen. This is really ridiculous when you have a such huge chin. Now you can easily add an app right in this here. So there are a lot of options. You have to explore them by yourself. I used few of them and they work perfectly. The VR browser is right here, but I would recommend you to go for the Chrome Canary. Some people prefer Chrome Canary, but I prefer the Chrome developers. So go any, any one of whatever you like entirely depends on you. Now guys, the DND uh, app is there. It's not actually an app. It's actually, uh, you know, it's not useful. It just says whatever, uh, who are the developers, what they do, you can easily donate to them, whatever it is. And guys, uh, the Android benchmarking gave us a score of around 41,500. Although I tried to run the Geekbench board, it never worked. It crashed all the time. So I didn't got any, I didn't get any score of Geekbench 4. I'm sorry for that. Now the camera app is turn, turn out to be good. It is decent, I would say. Uh, it's good and it's decent. Could have been better. I have got better cameras. So right now, the main drawback is not the camera. The main drawback is definitely the Volt E because uh, for India, Volt E is a really, really, really big thing. If you're not from India, then it's not a big deal. And guys, the device I'm showing is powered by Snapdragon 435. And the video mode also works perfectly. And there is the HD uh, 1080p uh, up to, you can easily shoot up to full HD. There is the stabilization option, but don't use it. The results are not that great. So just, you know, disable the software stabilization. Now the fingerprint sensor work. And apart from that, you can easily go for the ROM. The ROM is stable and the link will be in the description box below. Make sure to check that. And the guys will love this video, vote it up. And if you didn't like it, vote it down. Do subscribe to our channel. Other videos will be in the description. Make sure to check that. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed. I'll be seeing ya.